Well, it was a soggy way to end the week, but drier days are on the way. Happy Friday, Kate. How's it look? Happy Friday to you as well, and it looks better. I've got good news going into the weekend, which is always a good thing. We've got drying conditions outside tonight, and tomorrow the sun is back in full force all day long. Here's a live look at Philadelphia. We do have another band of showers that's moving in from the west right now. It hasn't really started to pick up yet. The road's still looking pretty dry here around Logan Circle. Current conditions not reporting much rain yet at the airport, but within the hour, that last gasp of this front will move on through. So you may hear some pitter patter of raindrops against your windows if you're trying to sleep after the newscast. 53 degrees outside right now, mostly cloudy. The dew point is 49. Winds are out of the northwest now, so winds have started to switch as that front moves through, and that will bring down the cooler, drier air from Canada that's going to really settle in over the weekend. Temperatures have really dropped since this time yesterday. Yesterday, today was about 20 degrees colder in the afternoon than yesterday was. And even right now, it's anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees colder than it was last night. And even colder air across central Pennsylvania just poised to make its way on in. So, Storm Scan 3 again showing the heaviest of the rain has moved on out. But, you know, we were watching this all day long. This last little sneak attack band of showers is starting to fire up. And you can see some pretty heavy downpours embedded within that. It's moving very quickly. So, again, within the hour over Philadelphia, Wilmington, down through much of Delaware, we are going to see just a brief period of locally heavy downpours before this gets on out of here. So showers continue tonight. They are scattered in nature, but again, that last band has some heavy rain with it. Wet roadways out there, but it does clear out by daybreak tomorrow. You can see those precipitation chances. 66% at 1 a.m., then dropping off the map by 5 a.m. It's largely dry, and tomorrow looks like a dry and beautiful start to the weekend. 44 tonight. That'll be the temperature right around daybreak. It'll be kind of chilly. The weekend is chilly as well. Clearing and cooler tomorrow, 60 degrees. Sunday, 65, a sensational fall Sunday. Perfect for the pumpkin patch this weekend. If you haven't gotten there yet, this weekend will treat you nicely. 60 tomorrow. Great football weather Sunday at 65, then back to 70 Monday. And hey, if you like the warmth earlier this week, if you like the 75 and sunny yesterday, it looks like we're headed back there. 70s Monday through Friday next week. Natasha, we'll send it back over to you. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Kate.